Ken Klotfelter with Otters TV alongside Evansville reliever Hunter Clucky. Hunter, thanks for joining us here on Otters TV. Halfway point in the season, you've been coming out of the pen and having a lot of success. What would you think? What are some of the things in this first half that have led to that success? Uh, I would say the main things just being consistent. Uh, you know, making sure you go about your stuff the right way, staying consistent. Uh, you know, just challenging guys, going right at people and trusting your stuff, having a lot of faith in the guys behind you as well. Right. You say staying consistent out of the bullpen. That has to be pretty tough when you're coming into different situations on a game-by-game -game basis, right? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely tough. As far as the game situation, you kind of never know, you know, what you're coming into and you never know when you're coming into it. Just as far as staying consistent with, like, your daily routine and just making sure the body's, you know, in the best shape it can be to, to be ready when you are called upon. Growing up in nearby Henderson County, just uh, south of the river, we talked with James Crick as well, and he actually, when he got the call from Andy, thought that Evansville was in Kentucky. But Henderson, close enough, just on the yeah, other side yeah. of the river. Um, how nice is it to be able to play professionally here, just you know, across the Ohio? Yeah, it's definitely really nice. Uh, actually, a funny little fact: there's actually somewhere a video when I was a little bitty playing t-ball, like running out with some of the guys on the field, like we do sometimes. Oh, I was a so, baseball buddy. Yeah, so yeah, I've came over here, you know, growing up. So yeah, it was pretty cool to get the experience. And, and playing in front of family and friends, that has to be really nice for you, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm able to, you know, get a pretty good crowd over here every night. You know, it makes it nice for sure. Uh, playing at uh, Henderson County and then also playing nearby at Brescia for a little bit before finishing up at IU Southeast, did you learn anything about the game of baseball uh, that you still use with the Evansville Otters to this day? Yeah, I would say a lot of it, like coming from high school back into college, was more just like finding yourself and, and knowing your role, you know, as far as not trying to do too much, trusting your stuff, and, and just, you know, more or less stay calm. It's not all about, you know, it's not necessarily a race, just you know, be the last guy out there and, and make every start if possible, you know. And then out of the success, uh, collectively, the Otters, if the playoff started today, would be one of the three teams representing the West Division in the postseason like they have so many years prior. How do you and your teammates keep this momentum rolling here when you're going to have a couple of road trips coming up and then a couple of long stays at home as well? Yeah, I feel like a lot of it's like not thinking about that, you know, just kind of like doing our own thing, having fun with it. We got a great group of guys. Everybody gets along. It, uh, it definitely makes it a lot easier. And we just go out there and do our best. And, you know, it, it'll come. It, it definitely comes. So I do have to ask, what is your favorite thing about pitching at Bossy Field compared to some of the other Frontier League ballparks that you've appeared in so far this season? Uh, to me, obviously, we get a good crowd. We got faithful fans. That makes it easy. And I'm also, I love a natural field. Okay. So I, I like how we've got a natural mound, you know, versus turf. Is there anything different in terms of how you deliver the ball or in terms of execution that you have to change up landing when it comes to playing on artificial turf compared to the natural grass? Uh, not necessarily me. I, uh, I just like the feel of it, you know. I like the feel of natural and uh, I uh, got a couple guys messing with us over here. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's just kind of a feel thing, you know. Nothing really changes. It's just personal preference. All righty. Uh, he's Hunter Clucky. I'm St. Claude Felter. This has been Otters TV.